So I had a few kickboxing fights, and then I was doing stand up at the same time, and I knew I had to pick one or the other. Now, how, where did where did stand up kick? Where did stand up come on, come into that whole program? How old were you when you started with that? Well, I was thinking about it when I was like nineteen or twenty. Okay, and um, you I, wrote your own stuff. Yeah, okay. yeah, I just like it was horrible, <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> but it was. <laughs> but you're just, but you're the kind of guy that like you don't mind you don't you put your balls out there and you won't mind getting punished for something you want to try. It, well, I I was just curious. Like I I'd seen this is what it was. I I have a very good friend to this day. His name's Steve Graham. He's a good okay. buddy of mine. And Steve, when I was uh, fifteen, when I met him, he was uh, an ophthalmologist. And like uh, he'd been on the U.S. ski team, like a fucking um, a wild man, just yeah. done a lot of stuff, like super, super duper smart. Right. And you know he was like in his thirties, and I was like fifteen, and uh, we we used to train together all the time. And when we would go and fight in tournaments, I was the guy who made everybody laugh because everybody would be nervous. We would be all scared because we we're gonna go fight. Yeah. Or when we we're about to spar, everyone okay. would be super nervous. Right. Sparring was scary. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And I was the guy who like you cracked, could cut up and crack cut, jokes because I realized that there was like tension in the room, and then I could get attention okay. from cracking that tension. All right. I could get attention from like making everybody laugh, and right. so. I start. I would do like impressions of guys we knew having sex and like just stupid <laughs> shit, and it was so dumb. But Steve is the one who told me. Uh, Steve and this other guy Ed Shorter, wow, who's a friend of mine too. And he, he just said you really should be, you should do stand up. Like you, you could do it. I'm yeah. like, dude, you think I'm funny because you know me. I'm like, other people gonna think <laughs> I'm an asshole. Like my sense of humor is so fucked up. But so then that's I went funny. to an open mic night and when you go to open mic night one of the things that's good about open mic nights is like if you compare yourself to like Bill Burr or Dave Chappelle, it's like it'll blow your you, yeah, you won't course. be able you can't imagine ever reaching that level yeah, Right, but if you go to an open mic night you realize oh these people are terrible. Yeah <laughs> <It's> like, <Right. laughs> So I might it's like that yeah, bad everybody's terrible when they first start that's M funny me, in me included I was terrible and so when you're around these terrible comedians you realize like oh, okay this is like this is how it works like you yeah. and then when i was at an open mic night the first time a couple of like real top level pros stopped by and did yeah. sets like this guy teddy bergeron yeah who did the tonight show back in the day and he was like yeah I've he had some name. substance abuse problems mm -hmm. but i'm telling you in 1988 there was no one was better there was people that are at that level but yeah. no one was. he was so smooth wow. and so polished and his material was so interesting and funny and I remember I had done my stupid little set. I barely got a few laughs, right? And then I was like, maybe I could do this. Maybe I could do this. And then I went out and watched that guy. I was like, I should just quit now. <laughs> he went up and just, it was so polished. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was so, it was, he was in such like ease on stage. But he'd done it a thousand times. Oh, right? a thousand times. Yeah. So this was when he was in his prime. Right, right. He he had one of the best sets I've ever seen on The Tonight Show. He was, wow. he was, he was incredible. But then he went off the rails. He went off the rails and, you know, he just uh, he had some problems. So did you, like, learn how to deal with hecklers early on? Oh, yeah. You always got to learn how to deal with hecklers. Yeah. yeah you're going to learn. Yeah. You're gonna, well, you know, you're going to have some moments where you fall apart. You're going to have some moments where it works out great. Yeah. You know, it's like it's a long, bloody process. Right. I compare it to, like, trying to build a mountain one layer of paint at a time. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it takes so God. long. It takes so long. It's so brutal. But it was – to me, it was – uh it was a way that I could like exist in the world that wasn't a regular job. Like right. I was, whatever it is, it's ADD or whatever, yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever the fuck I had. That. Yeah. I just couldn't sit still yeah. and I couldn't be involved in anything that didn't freak me out. I like, I, I only wanted to be involved in things that scared me. So you're the original fear factor then. You were, <laughs> you, <laughs> they cast you for a reason in that deal. They cast me against one, a couple of the producers didn't want to cast me because I was making fun of it. Right. I went in and, um, when I did the audition for it, they wanted it to be scary. Like, fear is not a factor for you. Da, right. da, da. Like, they were interviewing, like, sportscaster type dudes, yeah. too. And uh, I went in there, and, you know, I thought, like, this is... I was. I had a deal with NBC, and uh, I think it was to do a sitcom. I'm pretty sure it was. And so I went in to talk to them, and they said, we have this thing. Yeah. I was like, what are, what are you doing? And they're like, well, we want to present it to you. So I go there, and like, they're sick of dogs. We're going to put you in a shit. cage with a bunch of centipedes. Well, it was originally a show in Holland. Okay. It was called Now or Neverland. Okay. 
I think that was called what it was called. And so uh, this company bought it, and then they put it on TV in America, and they needed a host. And then you know they came to me. Yeah. And I was making so much fun because I was high. I showed up high. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna have this meeting with all these Hollywood people. I always get weirded out by those meetings. So right. I, like, I like to show up high. Uh huh. Just to feel them out, you know. Good. And uh, I was I was just making fun of it. Like you're gonna sick dogs on people on TV. That like, is funny. So stupid. I was like, I was like, how long? How long before this gets canceled? I was like making all these jokes about like how ridiculous it is you're gonna so, how, so you were doing the stand-up in, in boston and then what what made you think to move to like did you go on the road up to in new the york. northeast okay i moved new york. to new york okay. first and uh that was in the very early 90s okay i uh, met a manager who's still my manager to this day That's when great. i was an open micer in boston and then he moved me out to new york okay so i lived in new york for a few years then i got a development deal to do a sitcom and then i okay. came out i came out to hollywood okay yeah, but the whole time playing pool. Yeah, like you and yeah. I played pool before. Yeah. You played good pool, dude. Um, you played good I'm pool. Rusty, but you're no, yeah, but you know what you're doing. Good motivator for me. You know what you're doing. Like I watch you hit the ball. You know what you're doing. It was fun. Yeah, kind of bring back some you, memories. You know how to play pool. Like some people just play pool. They're just knocking balls around. But I'm watching you get out. And I'm like, okay, you know how to play pool. It's yeah. complicated. We'll see. It is complicated. Tricky you got a little... tough table, man. Yeah. Yeah, those tight pockets. Yeah. Little like snooker table. Difficult shit. <laughs> yeah, well, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, what Kennedy say, we don't do these things because they're easy. We yeah. do them because they're hard. Do them hard. because they are hard. Hard. Yeah. Exactly.